Be prepared for highly offensive language from the start and throughout, and adult and sexual themes. Another riot begins, and we love it. Yeah! Oh, give myself an headache for all the jumping up and down. Uh, the UK and US housemates woke up friends, and once again, they've gone to bed enemies. Tonight, we're going to be trying to find out why some of our housemates are so fiery as we gaze up to the stars. The stars. Oh. It's lovely, it's lovely. But who knows the stars like no one else? Well, he's also our first panelist tonight. He loves the stars and celebrities and astrology, and I think he loves me because I love him. It's Russell Grant! Oh. Look. I love him. Next up, she's the original talent show judge with a tongue that would whip Simon Cowell into shape. It's Jenna yeah. Nina Mishkov! Yeah. Beautiful tongue. Uh, my next guest likes to keep it real, apart from when it comes to two certain things. Uh, it's Towie's Georgia Cassini! <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and finally, the heat is on. Yeah. It's Michelle Heat on. I've been here too long, the jokes are just going downhill every day. <laughs> it's terrible. Listen, that's the best joke ever. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's get down to business. In tonight's episode, the housemates all woke up with the joys of spring, but once the task begun, things started to turn very sour very quickly, especially after this. I had rotten cheese in my vagina. I mean... <laughs> It's a casual, oh. it's a casual Thursday. Do you know what? I'm, I don't need that on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nina, I'm going to come to you because I know you <laughs> love you, that. Thank you. Thank um, you. How do you think the housemates handled the slinky slop task? Well, f first off, Chloe Jasmine wept. Oh. You know, oh, I mean, the just so predictable. I mean, I, I actually would have wanted to upend something over her myself. Um, I noticed that the, that the women were tougher than the men. It was the men that threw yes! up into yeah. their trousers. Bobby Davro's faces yeah. was just priceless. Yeah. But <laughs> interestingly... <laughs> what was doing in a gurning contest? <laughs> <laughs> interestingly, Farrah was very stoical. Did yes, you notice that? she was. She was, yeah, she she was, was. She's in that zone and she's obviously come to some kind of decision that she She's just going to do it. Do it. Mm. She's just going to do it. So I thought. I thought that she was really tough with it. Very, very good. Compliment for Farrah there. Yeah. Yeah. If we had the budget, we'd have another cannon, though. We yeah. yeah. um, Russell. Are you surprised they all did that task? They all done it, except for my bestest, bestest buddy, Janice. Oh yeah, Janice, yeah. bless her. She couldn't Clever do it. Clever Janice. She got out of it. I know. Well, it was due to health reasons. Was it due to health reasons? Health reasons. I don't know, but we're not going there. I think it's yeah. something. Is she allergic to fish? She might be allergic to fish. She might be allergic to tofu. She or... the other bucket. And let's be fair, it might be in Janice's contract that she doesn't want cheese in her vagina. So, <laughs> yeah. I've just put it out there. Let's just say it. Uh, but listen, that was a good task. I did like that one, but it was the price of truth task that really turned up the heat in the house. Oh, yes. uh, there was a good old Farrah bashing, as yeah. per usual. Uh, she was said to be amongst others least trustworthy, least yeah. talented and most vile. Now, Michelle, were you surprised that she got them thrown at her? I'm surprised she didn't get more, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, like, look, look, let, let's, let's be real here. She did deserve all those titles, except one. I was really surprised about the boring one. 
Yeah. yeah. I thought Jims yeah. took a really um, wimpy way out there and, yeah. and, and called a boring for no particular reason whatsoever. Mm. Instead of really picking on what he should have done was, was probably... Oh, I hate to say it. I don't know. Oh, Sherry. Like Sherry. Yeah. yeah. Sherry. Yeah. I mean, I mean, really, the most boring is not somebody who's who's really who's entertaining, it which to is Farrah. Yeah. yeah. George, are you, are you surprised at how well Farrah took it? Do you know what? Um, I actually am really, really surprised because if that was me and everyone was telling me like how bad I am and I got all this stuff, I'd probably like add a like princess tantrum strop and walked off. <laughs> Like, well, I'm saying you're in Dowie, babe. I mean, we know. I'm known for it, but I don't like keep my feet and walked off. Like, I'd be fuming. So I do think she took it quite well. And even if she was upset, she wouldn't show she's upset. Yeah, you know yeah, what she's yeah. like? One thing that I think maybe did get to her a little bit, she was also named least popular. Yeah. Russell, yeah. do you think deep down, I, I don't know if you agree, but I think I saw that she was a bit like, Look, I think that affected her a bit, Russell. Well, having seen her chart, which we'll talk about later... Oh, yes, later. we will. We love a chart. Oh, we do. The more you throw at this girl, the tougher she yeah, gets. Yeah. 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 And in your opinion, I know it's not, there's a lot of things she says I don't agree with, but is that a good trait in someone, do you think? Well, it, because of... Um, I keep going back to the chart because we know what's going to mm. happen, don't we? But it is because, you see, take Farrah out the house... Where's your entertainment? Yes. Mm. True. Where's, True. Where's, where's the show? It'll be you and I dancing. Got to say, he's back after his hit replacement. He's back with Mischief! Look at him! What did you want to say? I think Forrest has been the star of the show from the start. She's absolutely brilliant. You know, we've got to keep her in there, right? Yeah. Everyone's at her at the moment, but she's so tough as a character, she, she will stay in there. Oh, I'm so happy he's back. He's back. So I am. I'm so over the moon you're back. I love him so much. Um, let me move on to Janice, cos she was made, named most manipulative by Tash uh, and self-obsessed by James. So, Russell, I'm going to come back to you. She's your, she's your mate, do you agree? She's my mate. I work with her in LA, and what you see is what you get. I love Janice Dickinson yeah. so much. Yeah. I mean... If you take a picture of Angelina Jolly as Maleficent, you have Maleficent's mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love her. But, you see, I don't see her as manipulative. I see her as straight down the line. Yeah. And she's a toughie. And, I mean, Janice, when you know her like I do, you see the real person. The real Janice. It is a strange thing to call her manipulative. Well, Nina, you've... I mean, yeah, you've dished it out before on the telly. I mean, yeah. would you call her manipulative? Um, no, I wouldn't call her manipulative. I agree with Russell in that she she responds. She 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 she, she appears barking mad, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Yeah. And pr probably she is. But she is very she's got great empathy mm. and she responds to anybody. She she responds to Chloe Jasmine, she responds, yeah. you know, she she's very yeah. quick yeah. and Absolutely intuitive right. something. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. on her she's on her own planet and you wouldn't want to yeah. visit it for very long. Sorry, Russell. Yeah. But you wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe a little weekend. A little weekend. A little weekend, uh, I uh, spent a weekend but, but, on it but, and but, I came with... back like Janice. <laughs> oh, God. You see, you Fabulous. See, <laughs> for me, the manipulative one in the whole house that's manipulating every situation is Jenna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we are going to be getting on to Jenna in a minute, but just bringing it back to Janice, Janice actually called Tash most two-faced. I agree! Yeah. Go on. Hang on, he's got his Mel B bow tie on. Go on. <laughs> no, absolutely, hundred. She's so two faced. She says she keeps trying to make the peace and keeps going to them and being nice. Behind their back, she's not only getting the knife, she's getting the full kitchen knife set and stabbing it right in. George, what are you making of that? Is so Natasha what? too far? I disagree with her. Oh. I really like her. I you like can't her. I think stand her. Really? I love her. Oh. She's a true... Hold up, hold up, hold up. We've got a debate she... going on here. Yeah, come on, I want to hear it. She, she is two-faced. And the, the thing about <laughs> Natasha, the interesting thing about Natasha is that she's obviously been able to get her own way all her life. Because, because, because <laughs> she Michelle. said... Because Michelle's she said um, a couple of nights ago, she said, not even my dad speaks to me like that. Oh, she's, yeah. And if, if she's not been disciplined and guided and criticised, she wants to get her own way. I mean, when you saw her after that bottle of red wine, oh, my oh, God, yeah. you, you wouldn't want to stand between her and a bottle of red wine that night. Right, Michelle. Don't uh, ask me anything. I've, I've got to ask you. <laughs> I was like, You've don't want to answer hands. it. What do you I, make I'm going to see her afterwards. Janice calling <laughs> Natasha two-faced. No. I wouldn't say Natasha's two-faced. No, no. no. But, um, but, but, I, but, 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 listen, but, yeah, but. obviously, Natasha I, I, I definitely I just want to say, has... for the record, I really like Natasha. You know, I Natasha, Natasha's... 
I can, I totally I can get, see both sides. I totally get where, where people are coming from because I do think, like, oh, like she's a proper feisty, strong, confident yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. And I also yeah. wouldn't like to be on the wrong side of Natasha because I think that should beat me to a pulp. But <laughs> I, I don't say, that's think that yeah. two faced would be the word that I call it at all. Except, no. except no, that she's been very I think nice. That she's doing really if well she and Janice house. have been very nice and talking to each other, then for her to turn on Janice would mean that Janice would think she's two faced. Because mm. if, if they've not fallen out particularly and they've had decent conversations and got on together and then suddenly out of nowhere comes your, you know... Th your th this, your that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, imagine that, living, I'm, I'm, in, imagine living in the house, like... I think she's kept herself quite sane because I'd have gone yeah. psycho by now. Yeah. And I think she's a real woman. Like, she's just real, isn't she? Like, there's no drama. Like, she ain't Queen B. I just think... Yeah, some people call it, like, two-faced, but I, I just love her. Yeah. I think she's real. Well, on that note, before any fights like break her. out on the actual panel, uh, we're going to be talking to them a bit later on about that and tomorrow's fake eviction. But for now, give them a little clap. Yeah. Yeah, what a panel. Uh, after the break, they always speak the truth. The Speakmans are at Sykes on the sofa tonight. Uh, we're going to be looking for the hierarchy in the house. But now, this time tomorrow, Big Brother will be turned on its head as two of our housemates enter the secret house. But all is not as it seems, because for the first time ever, the main house will know they're being watched. So, who goes in? You decide! You decide! This week, Bobby, Farrah, Gail, Jenna and Stevie and Chloe Jasmine all face the public vote. Which two housemates would you like to fake evict? From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to fake evict. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to fake evict. For Bobby, add 02. For Farrah, add 05. For Gail, add 06. For Jenna, add 09. For Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, add 13. Calls to the long number will cost 50 pence, plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. <laughs> Side. Still to come, our favourite astrologist, Russell Grant, is going to be deciphering our celebrity housemates' birth charts to reveal the truth behind Justin's connection. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Casual fan. Uh, but first, it is time for tomorrow's headlines in today's news. Yeah! Housemates were woken up at 9.23am by the gentle strains of a fat man. <laughs> Not like that, not like that. It's the dance off, have a look. and Janice did not make it to the dance floor in time and so will not receive any points. All other housemates will receive 20 points. Ooh. Thank you. I'm just dying at Janice. Janice is like... <laughs> giving it. She loves it. Uh, later on at 11.35, Jenna had a bit of a moan to Farah about someone giving her the evil eye. Any guesses? Any guesses? You've guessed it. So I talked to Natasha last night. Cool. Irritated me. Even more. Yeah, you know. Like, because she always, like, tries to, like, wiggle her way out. Because she is like that. Yeah. And it, I... She's used that in her life. It's like, I just... I can tell. Own up to your bullshit, girl. 
Like, if you're going to be scandalous, she's like, oh, I felt bad all day. Oh, I was crushing. It literally, our situation made me cry. I'm like, yeah, you really let on that on. Well, at 112, Jenna's still not happy about Natasha's funny looks, but Austin thinks he knows what Natasha's problem is. There's skullduggery going on everywhere. Yeah, There's skullduggery I just, going I just on hate everywhere. That she knows she does stuff, but well, she then denies it. You know, well, it's like okay, yeah, I'm, I'm paying close attention. Watch her in the next thing. How she glares and rolls. Well, I hope it's directed so I can watch it. Resting bitch face. Huh? Just means like when you're not even meaning to, m you know, make a rude face, you do. Oh. Which isn't, it's not like an offensive term, you know, if you just, it's just the way your face sits. <laughs> uh, well, I said I can't do it at all because there's so much Botox in my face, I can't, I can't move my eyes. We've all been now, we've all been now. Uh, Nina, no, I... Not me. Oh, yeah. You can see not me. <laughs> but a duo sick. Big Brother gathered the housemates with the latest, the most emotional part of the task so far. Call of Duty. In front of you all is a phone. In a moment, the phone will start ringing, and all you have to do to earn points is not pick it up. Okay. On the other end of the phone, I'm waiting to talk to you, are your friends and family. Austin, your husband Jake will be waiting to speak to you. Farah, your dad Michael will be waiting to speak to you. James, your granddad Tony will be waiting to speak to you. Natasha, your fiance Richie will be waiting to speak to you. Gail, your friend Alex will be waiting to speak to you. <clears throat> if you answer the phone, you will lose any points that you have earned in this challenge for your entire team. The phone will start ringing in three, two, one. And that's all you're getting! Ah, they're looking, they're like... Ah, and that was today's news! Uh, all right, all right, all right, hang on, hang on. Should we have a look? Go on, go on. As no housemates answered the phone, the phone line has been cut off on your friends and families. I take it I've been dumped because that was my mate on the phone. No! <laughs> Go, I'm gonna be all right. It's fine. It's just whoever picks up first, promise you. It's fine. It's cool. He's been watching every day. I'm thinking I am proud of my women and your kids have been watching and you're awesome. He was I could feel him. You can see him in a few weeks. So much better than the phone call. More than eighty percent of communication is bodily. I know, but you know, he's They're my strength. And you're your strength. You are very strong. Trust me. But it's good to watch, isn't it? It's good. Isn't it? Uh, listen, who fancies a little look inside the minds of our celebrity house? Mate? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Well, do you know what? It's time for. Yeah. Get up in the speak, man! Love. Yeah. You're all right, Nick. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Although I have got to say, I've got to say, we're not actually on the sofa. It says psych on the sofa, but we're standing because we're rebels. <laughs> we're rebels today, is what we do. Um, we've got a nice little castle behind us. You're going to be talking to me about reality royalty. That's right. Is that right? Uh, yeah. So, So let's get started. I mean, this is what we've got going on. You've, you've divided everyone into what you think they're part of the royal family, is that right? Yeah, well, there's been so much conflict in the house and there's loads of people, well, there's quite a lot of people who are fighting to be heard. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's like, you know, it's all about me. And so what we wanted to do was use the uh, original sort of reality theme and look at 
who, as in the sort of hierarchy of the house, is actually the sort of reality royalty within the house. Yeah, because Janice, you know, she's always says, I'm the queen of reality. Yep, she said that. So I'm time. guessing she's here. Am I well, right? do you know what? You would think that. And obviously, she is the queen of reality outside mm -hmm. of the house, but in this house, she's losing the crown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yes! Oh. Farah! You see, you see, what you've got to consider is that Farah made her name in reality by being controversial. Yeah, um, that's and she's true. ramping it up in the house, isn't she? But you've got a little Janice here. Yeah, I mean, Janice. Yeah. Well, she's always a queen, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> please. Out, out of respect, out of respect for Janice. But, I mean, Farah is coming over as, you know, the, really the strongest character in the house but for controversial reasons. Yeah. However, I mean, we see this sort of side of it that's so harsh and so hard, but it was quite interesting to watch when they were doing the face to face nominations that Farah was actually rocking. Uh, backwards and forwards. Every time somebody said something negative, she was rocking. What's that mean? Well, that means that she's stressed and it's a soothing... Oh. It's a soothing movement that actually goes back to being rocked as a child and, you know, helping her get over the stress. So, so, so Bobby think... did actually get to her. You think there's maybe a bit more underneath then? Yeah, and, yeah, and in fact... Yeah. In fact, we just saw her crying when she said... Yeah. Uh, when her dad, was, was, her dad on was on the phone. We actually saw her put her head down. So, uh, you know, I think she even shed a tear. That's so she's getting more shins. And do you know what else as well? You remember, obviously, we did the uh, royalty time last week as well. This wasn't the structure, was it? Like, with them two no, up no, here. No, no, so no, no, no. I'm not. quite keen to see who the king is. Okay. Have we got any guesses? Austin! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Is it Austin? <laughs> We're joking. Yeah. It's Austin! Oh, yeah. It is Austin! Yeah. Right, so we've got Austin as the king. Yeah. Why yeah. is he the king in Because there? he's got a foot in both camps. You know, he's going to the UK saying, I'm on your side, and then he's with the USA gang is saying, look, you know, I know I'm, I'm with them, but when it comes down to it, I'm all Team USA. But talking of Austin, he's the king of the house, but he's involved in quite a lot of storylines, isn't he? Like, who's the real Austin? But do you know what? The fact that he's, he's in a lot of storylines is because he is the king of reality. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's in every one. He's you in know, every and, one. and you've got the guy, there he is, you know, Gail, I'm, you know, I feel so sorry for you, I'm going to shave my hair off for you, and the day after, he's putting up... He's nominated! Yeah, yeah. I know! But I, just, <laughs> but I just think, you know, you're asking who is the real Austin in that house, he is the king of reality. He is playing his viewers and he's playing his people. Oh, yeah. that's quite interesting. Let's have a little look at the prince and princess. Any guesses? Stevie Clark. Stevie Clark. You're joking. <laughs> it is Stevie Clark. <laughs> <Clay. laughs> have you seen this ball? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So why are they the prince and princess? Because they were the prince and princess, weren't they? They were, but they, but they are, because they well, know... Well, she actually wears a tiara. Well, I mean... Yeah. Exactly. I mean, she is sort of carrying that princess role all the time. But what's really interesting is that, because this is reality TV, and this is why particularly Stevie is the prince, is that we saw him yesterday, or the day before, um, actually sat outside on his own, speaking to Big Brother. Yes! You know, and this was like, he knew, you know, there was a master plan in that. He didn't, wasn't just sort of talking to himself quietly. He was articulating himself, looking to the camera. Sympathy vote. Sympathy vote. Well, talking of voting, I mean, how strong would these two be if they weren't in a couple? Because, you know, we've seen a bit of separation, haven't we, with this task. How, do you think they'd work apart? I actually think that... Um, that Chloe would actually fall apart, yeah. whereas I think Stevie, whereas Stevie... Yeah, he would come into his own. And, and you know what? Fantastic reality star, because you can see that he is so, so desperate to say to, to something to Chloe, like, come on, belt up, love. This is... Do you, you, know, oh. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's yeah. take a quick look uh, at them from tonight's show. I think I might grow to like this. What? <laughs> Being in bed with Bob every night. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you see, Chloe... This person that we don't know, we didn't know him. I don't know why this person that we don't know would say that to, to offend because, me somehow. Well, no, because oh, he's uh, chatting away in the corner while I'm trying to sleep and I'm not feeling so great. Chloe. She's I'm fine. I'm joking. Great. I found that really funny as well. Go to bed. It's like, give me the cold shoulder. <laughs> So, looking at that clip with what you've just said, it sort of makes sense. He, do you think he quite enjoyed it? Yeah, well, you know, it was nice to see him have a joke, and it's like, I've got a bit of freedom, finally, yeah. you know? He was loving it. <laughs> I tell you what, I think he's going to be really sad when this bit's over and he's going to have to go back to kind of holding her hand and guiding her through. Oh, oh. Eva's going in tonight. <laughs> uh, we're going to be showing you what happened when they got back together a bit later on, but let's move on to the Royal Advisor. Uh, Royal Advisor, any guesses? Scoop. 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 
Let's take a look. No, it's not. It's not Skip. It's Jenna. Yeah. You see, I, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I well, suppose it's not. Royal Advisor slash Royal Manipulator. Oh, I got hold hey. up. Royal Manipulator. <laughs> okay. Okay. The, the, the royal advisor is supposed to give information to the royal family, but what she's doing, she's taking that information, she's changing it, manipulating it for her own gain and passing it on. Yes. And, 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 you know, we would, we would also call her the royal bullet maker because she makes the bullets and she passes them to Farah and she fires them. Royal advisor to yeah. the Queen, <laughs> now you understand it. Yeah. I'm getting it. Uh, let's move on to the Duke. Any guesses? Duke, Duke anyone? Yes. James! James! <laughs> it is James here! Oh, 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 girl. So I have James the Duke? We've given um, James the position of the Duke because he's liked by everybody, generally, in the house, except for Farrah, but then, hey-ho. Yeah. Um, but he is liked and he, he's really fair, he's a gent, um, and he's, you know, he's just, he just sort of speaks with everybody. He speaks his mind, but he does it in a, in a very uh, kind and articulate yes. way. Um, and, and for that reason, you know, he's... I actually think he's been himself and he's not playing a game. However, even though it's sort of reality royalty. Um, royalty, I do think that he is being real because he's just been himself. Well, yeah. obviously every Duke needs a Duchess, so who have we got as the Duchess? Natasha's yeah. the Duchess. And let me tell you why we've chosen you Natasha. Tell yeah. Yeah. You tell me why. You tell me why. She's going in. I am going in. <laughs> Go on, girl. Um, let me tell you about Tash. So, I heard earlier that um, the panel was saying that they thought that she was being two-faced. I actually think that um, Tash is doing great reality royalty here because yeah. I know that Tash is a fiery soul mm. and she could really kick off royally. However, yeah. she's actually holding it back and she's being quite polite. She is saying what she thinks and she's saying what other people think actually she's kind of the voice of the people um, and and but she's trying to make peace with everybody she doesn't want to fall out with anybody in the house you mm. can see that she wants some calm and some peace but i actually think she's doing a great job at speaking of holding her mind it and, yeah, holding and, it and you know what she, she's she's put a marker down and she said right if you're going to attack me you're going to get you're it you're going to get it back. Yeah. yeah and yeah. that's the best way to be in there Absolutely. if you can't take it yeah. don't dish it out uh, let's take a look at the royal staff so we've got Sherry... Well, this is really interesting. We've got Sherry, Bobby and Gal, yeah. but Sherry and Bobby in the task were king and queen. That's right, yeah. But, but in reality new... terms, they're just yeah. the staff. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to me, why? <laughs> well, I've got to be honest, we're going to promote them a little bit now, because they have been a little bit under the radar up until just very recently. Uh, particularly Bobby, who I'm now kind of... I think, I think I'm going to promote him to the uh, Earl of Justice. Yes, he was a little bit hard. <laughs> Thank you, but he was a little bit hard. But, um, you know, he, he was actually speaking for everybody. I think he's actually... What he did was more a, a fatherly way of speaking to Farrah, saying, look, we're, we're trying to be sent... We're all trying to tell you, please listen. He didn't swear, he didn't shout, he didn't lose his temper. He spoke in a really benevolent, kind, fatherly way to help Farrah to say... I think it was just a cry for help. Look, please mm. listen. I don't think it was done maliciously so, in, in any way. I think Sherry and, and, and Gail are fabulous. They're both really lovely, but they are a little bit under the radar because we've got all these strong all of this going royalty on. going on here. Well, that only leaves one more person as the house jester. It's Scoop! It's Scoop! Scoop's the one in there! <laughs> and we've got, we're running out of time, but, well, you know, we, he's... We had bigger expectations of Scoop. They voted for him, they made him... Uh, <clears throat> they made him the, the president and nothing really happened. No. Nothing happened. No one listened to him. You know, but when he was... starts going for it, everyone's like, it's good. Yeah. 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 He makes a lot of noise, but nobody really listens. But he's a, he's a, he's a fun guy. I've absolutely loved this. I'm not even going to lie. I might even put this on my dressing room wall. Give it up for the yeah. speak, man. <laughs> I love this. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Coming up, we get all starry-eyed with astrology heavyweight Russell Grant as we gaze into our celebrity housemates birth charts to find out whether Clovey really are as compatible as they like to make out. Uh, and by the looks of this, they do like to make out. That was like Channel 5 late night. Yeah, it's gone, Matt. Um, but is it all too good to be true? Stay tuned. You do not want to miss that. But first, 
I want to hear from you. So give me a bell on my 24 hour bots hotline on 0333 577 and let me know what you're thinking about the show. Anything though, from the fake eviction to who you like, who you can't wait to see the back of. Anything, 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 babe, anything. And I could be calling you back live on the show tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and remember, leave a number because otherwise I can't get back to you and it's just really embarrassing. But I'll see you after the break. So thank you. Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Still to come, we're going to be looking ahead to tomorrow's mega twist, and our panel are going to be discussing who should go into the secret house. But now, Ooh. it's time to lower the lights no. so we can see what's written in the stars. Give it up for our resident star man, Russell Grant! Thank you, darling. Oh. Right, Russell, let's get straight into it. So you've been looking at some of our housemates and their charts and stuff like that. Let's start with Farah because she is the talk on everyone's lips. Let's start with her. What have we got about Farah? Well, Farah doesn't give a flying f -f 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 <laughs> <laughs> Because, as I said over there, the more you throw at her, the stronger she gets. But the, in the interesting thing about her, she's actually quite traditional. And I can say she's a Gemini. Uh, she's a Gemini. Um, but when you look at the chart as a whole, there is a lot of Capricorn in the chart, which is very much, strangely enough, a traditionalist. Do you remember one of the things she said when she was in the middle of one of her many fights and rows? I'm a God-fearing woman. Yes, she did Do say that. Do you remember that? Yeah. And you see, basically with her, she will fight because she's always found herself with her back against the wall. Yeah. You look at the whole reality concept with the, you know, the teenage mum. She's had to fight. She's had to be self-sufficient. It's how she's built. And it's how she's built. And so, therefore, she's grown up, grown up, grown up. And in many ways, she feels that she's alone. There's no one there to help her, so therefore she's got to fight her corner and she's got to strut her stuff and do her thing. Go on, Russell. He knows what he's talking about. Um, let's move on to Janice, your mate Janice. Um, I love so Janice. I'm looking at Janice now. She's an Aquarius. She's an Aquarian, and you know, I, I've done the full chart, but of course we haven't got the time, so we can't do the proper astrological chart. But who can forget? From Janice, I'm Henry VIII, I am. <laughs> yeah, Who Gina. can forget tomato, potato, 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 tomato? Yeah. Who can forget her putting her legs round her neck? Well, and none of us, none of us can you forget know. that one. And <laughs> who can forget her being thrilled when someone said you are a diva and she went, thank you. Well, exactly. But what does it mean? What it means is basically what you see is what you get. I said that again. And she's random. She's glorious. I spent two days with her. And it was a spectacular couple of days. She is adorable. And you do want her to smile, but as she said herself, you see, there's no, there's no holding back. No. She said, the Botox, I can't <laughs> smile. Yeah, we've all been there. I've she said it. is totally random, and I just love the girl. She's somebody that I want to work with again. We can make that happen. We can make that happen. <laughs> uh, let's move on to Chloe. Uh, Chloe's a Cancer, and Stevie is a Virgo. Right. Is that a compatible match? Well, strangely enough, Cancer and Virgo together, on general terms, and they, we're just looking at sun signs, is actually very good. Oh, OK, good. But the thing is with Chloe Jasmine, and I put here in big letters, don't underestimate this girl. Oh. She is very, very strong underneath. Now, my very first book that I bought out in 1984... <laughs> 1984? <laughs> I'm big so brother. old. Call, call I know you George Orwell. Big brother, yeah. you're right. Go on. Um, it actually said... Give a Cancerian a cuddle a day. It keeps the doctor away. So, therefore, she's tactile. She needs the love. She needs the, the attention. She needs that because Cancerians are emotionally needy. I'm Cancerian! And you're emotionally oh, needy! That needy Michelle shouting out again. 
She's shining. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why in the green room we're always cuddling. Well, anyway, <laughs> but basically, don't underestimate her because you see, emotions for her are very, very important indeed. Mm. And because he is very strongly Virgoan, mm. Virgos are very good at serving up what you need. And if Cancerians need Providing. feelings and emotions, they will provide the love. And so what you've got here with these two is she... There's just something about her I think there is. Think of a crab, right? You've never had them, I know. Um, basically, think of a crab. They are tough on the outside, but inside they are, like, soft as silk. Yeah. And so, therefore, there is a toughness about her, and there is... He needs her as much as she needs him. Oh, we are. We are. What, they don't, need don't each other. Don't shake your head at Russell Grant. I'm not having that. They um, need each other. Let's move on to James. Um, what are we seeing with James? He's, a, he's, he's Taurus. Well, you're seeing with James a gorgeous man. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> He might be Taurian, but there is a lot of Aries in his chart, and that means he has <laughs> got, he's got a, a toughness, he has a lovely connection between Venus and Uranus, charisma, courtesy. You, let me just stop you. You said he's got a lot of Aries there. Yes. Austin is Aries. Yes. So, yes! As, as a sort of... Bromance, are they compatible? These two signs are very compatible, I hear. They're so. far more compatible than you could ever imagine. Oh! 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 Now, oh! Do you remember when we did the other Big Brother and I talked about you and your other half? Yes, Dan? I do. Right. Yes. In astrology, the planet Venus is the goddess of love and she gives love. Now, what you've got in Austin, his Venus is in Taurus. And Hang on. James's son is in Taurus, and so therefore Austin's Venus lands straight on James's son's side. Yes! And what that means, astrologically, if someone comes to me and said, uh, says, are two people compatible, you look for the connection between Venus and the sun. And boy, oh boy, these boys have got it. They are. Well, on that note, get over Russell. You need to calm down after that, right? <laughs> um, after the break, we're going to be looking ahead to tomorrow's quiz that's definitely going to cause a bit of chaos. I'll see you straight after this break. Yeah! Well, I love that. to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. We're going to be talking through tomorrow's big twist in just a minute. But first, I'm going to give you an exclusive. Ooh! And it seems there might be trouble in paradise after all. Ooh! Babe, will you remarry me? I would, with pleasure. <laughs> Mwah. I adore okay, you. OK, I adore you too. Mr Dinger, did we get stick cards? Did you get stick cards? Uh, there's only two packs on there, Chloe. We might do. But JK. I wish I just stood up for myself and said, please, can you take one packet of meat off the shopping budget? I'm not going to eat it. Please, can I have some cigarettes instead? I, I couldn't say that because I was in the diary room. I know you were. So now I'm fucked. You're not fucked. I'll give you mine. That's a promise. Does he wish you to have his own? I'm getting one. Cash is getting one. I'll give you Why mine. Why am I not having a packet? I wonder if they could just slip somewhere. Well, we can ask the diary room. Somebody have to No. Are you... Are you... You're joking, aren't you? Not being funny, babe, but they can't put ten packets of cigarettes on the shopping list, you know? Oh, my God, obviously. So, you can have mine, and then we'll call, we'll, we'll call it that. It's just like Nadia all over again, isn't it? Big brother with my cigarette, not funny! <laughs> uh, well, listen, this time tomorrow, your votes will have sent two of our housemates... We loved it, do we? Uh, two of our housemates into a secret house. However, this twist has a twist. So the celebrities in the main house will know that they're being watched and suddenly the players are going to become the playees. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Get what I'm saying? Just pour it you on the head there with me, man. Uh, well, listen, we've got just under a minute to talk about each housemate who's up for the vote to go into the secret house. When the time's up, we'll hear this sound. <coughs> and we will move on. So let's start with Farah. Uh, she received six nominations, the highest number yet again. Does this mean she would be on fire in the secret house? Start the clock. Yeah. Russell, what do you think? Would she be good in there? Yeah, I think she'd be great. I mean, she's there for entertainment. <laughs> 
We want Cara there for entertainment. We don't care if she's a good girl or a bad girl. We want her to be in there to give us the work. George? I do actually want her in the other little house, the Victor house, because I think it'd be funny to see when the joke's on her, because she'll think she's all winning, and then the joke will be on her, and it'd be funny. Ning? Absolutely. I mean, you, you, you have to start with the premise that the first person in there, and the only person you really want in there, is Farrah. Because you need to... What, what's, the, what's the point of putting Bobby in there? Or, or, or Cherie? Who would, who would care if Cherie went in there? You need somebody who's going to stir things up. Michelle? Just get her out, get her in. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? Has Farrah got it in? I've gone home. 100% Farrah and Jenna in the secret room. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to Bobby. He was very honest with why he nominated Farrah. Some say too honest. Uh, would he be good in The Secret House? Let's start that clock. Nina, will he be good in there? Um, I, I don't necessarily think so. I mean, because uh, that was his one moment. You know, he, he built himself up all these days and then he delivered this speech, which actually went on slightly too long, I thought. Um, you know, he, he, fair enough, he, he gave it to her and I, we were all cheering, but it went on too long. Just That made it silent, edgy and I thought, you don't need to do that. Michelle? But I don't think he's... Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that um, cut the bull. Um, Farah's going to be in, whether we like it or not. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. I will eat my um, my my cup if she's not in. Keep um, that cup. Keep that cup. And to have her with Bobby will be an absolute waste of yeah. votes. So don't waste your votes. Vote for her and Jenna. Yeah. You think her and Jenna? I agree. What do you think, Russell? I would love. Oh. She's talking about eating a cup. Uh, <laughs> next up, let's talk about Gail. She's really coming out of her shell. She started to speak her mind a lot, but as a consequence, she received two nominations. So is she better being a player or a playee? Let's start the clock. George, do you think Gail would do well in there? No, do you know what? I think she just, she's literally just coming out of her shell. She's bringing her, like, inner Beyonce goddess out at the moment with her black eyeliner and all that. Loving really it. Good. Love going <laughs> Gail, yeah. so working. Why she's comfortable, don't take her out. Leave her in. Because otherwise you've got to have to do the, the readjusting again. It ain't going to happen. Russell? Leave her. Oh, Gail is another dear friend of mine. She's the dear. Oh, you sound like Lizzie Cundy. He knows everyone. Oh, You're I mean, friends with Lizzie Cundy, <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I've been around for far too long. But Gail is lovely. Just give her a pair of um, marigolds. Yes. A bit of dettol. And get around the house wherever you want to. Just have her cleaning somewhere. He's done it again! He's made the gags of... Uh, well, let's move on to Jenna. She only received two nominations. She seems to be very good at going between camps and stirring the pot. Um, is this the perfect celebrity for the secret house? Let's start the clock. Yeah. Nina! So, absolutely, she's the perfect celebrity. She is a very, very wise woman. Mm. Uh, she manipulates. I mean, yeah. she is absolutely the professional at this. Yeah. If you... she make, The Americans make us Brits look like complete amateurs. We're all going... Oh, God, I'm nominating him because he took my cigarette. No, <laughs> they are working tactically. And Jenna is the prime mover. She has got a brain that works there, and she's, she's like a chess player. But in defence, put... someone mentioned the other day, um, if you put Farrah in there with someone else, then Farrah might see Jenna talking about Farrah. Yes. Yeah. But I, I don't think Jenna would be talking about yeah. Farrah. I don't think yeah. she would be. Yeah, but I then agree. she'd know anyway. Oh, okay. She'd know anyway. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, both of them are far too clever to talk about each other. Oh, we're at time. Well, finally, we've got a Move on to Clovey. Can you imagine just being in a secret room with just them two? No. <laughs> Would it drive the other housemate insane? Let's start the clock. George, Stevie and Clovey. I can't cope with that. <laughs> I can't cope. I'm sorry, but I just can't even watch him or look a picture. I just feel sick. Like, come on, guys. Well, you're with, you're with Tommy. What would you two be like? Oh, my God. Like, we, like, love each other and we'd give up. We'd have murders. Like, <laughs> no, we would. we would. We're a normal couple. And I just think, no, no, it's too much. Yeah. Um, Russell. Yeah. Don't like Stevie and Chloe. With those two, absolutely get them a room, but leave me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you were in a room with, with, with those two, you'd need a sick bucket. You really... Really yeah. would. Yeah. I just, she just drives me insane. I, I met her here on Bots a year ago, mm. and I thought, what a beautiful girl, and she's yeah. from a different era in the fifties, and so yeah. like that. But now I'm, I'm not given to violence. But by God, I can oh, smack her. Oh, Cara! Uh, very quickly, going down the panel, Michelle. What two housemates do you want to see in the secret house? Uh, Jenna and Farah. Yeah. Nina. Jenna and Farah. George. Oh no, you're going to say, but I think Farah and James just stir it up. Oh. oh. Yeah. Russell. James and Austin. <laughs> oh, oh. Who do you want to see in there? Farrell and... 
Should I take Natasha. A time? <laughs> oh yeah, mix it up. Farah and Jenna. Farah and Natasha. Farah and Natasha, definitely. Has to be Farah and Natasha, two people yes. that hate each other. Farah and Natasha, yeah. yeah. Jenna and Farah and Jenna. Farah and Jenna. Farah and Jenna. Time's up, give yourselves a round of applause. And that's all I've got time for tonight. A massive thank you to all of my guests and my fantastic audience. Thank you. Uh, switch over to Five Star now. We'll be live from the house. And make sure to tune in to Big Brother tomorrow night for the live fake eviction. Join me straight after at 10.30, where I'll be joined by my US counterpart, Michelle Visage is back. Uh, also, Tuesdays, Evicti, Chris Ellison, Louisa Zisman and Casey Bachelor. Why not? Oh,